Hi, uh, this is Tilak. Welcome back to the fast formula tutorial. In the last session, we saw what is um, formula type. In this session, what we see, what is the context? What is the uh, routes? And what is uh, DBA? We see all the three things together, yeah, they work together. And you need to understand all the things, all these three components together. When you are right, fast formula, you use a lot of database items. I'll call it DBA, database items. The reason is whenever you are writing some logic or some validation, you need a lot of information from the applications. This information, either it could be a name, date of birth, date of joining, date of determination, or gender, anything, any information, any data from that system, you can access through database item only. So you need to use a lot of database item and you need to understand a lot of database item. The secondly, what you are going to use is context which is passed to the formula like a parameter. So you use it. And you also allow to change the context. Now what I do that, I'll go further to explain you through a SQL. Okay, this is a very simple SQL. You can say that, okay. Now here, I take it as a three parts. Now this is as a one part and this is as a second part and this part that, that the red one as a third part. So I'll explain you all the three parts. Since it is like, you know, either you are a, a like, you know, product manager or a, a like developer, since you are, it is a very Oracle specific, I hope you understand the basic sequence. Now, what happened? These three parts, basically are information which is retrieved from the, are extracted from the, like, you know, some, one or multiple table. In this case, we are getting all this information from this person table. This is a person information, okay? But, okay. Now, what are we having? Person number, person ID, full name, last name. These two coming from a person table, these two coming from a person name tables. Okay. This is the information which is coming out of the database. Okay. Now, this is the from part says that from where it is coming from, what is the source of that information is coming from. In this case, the information is coming from two table, but it is using a four table for different validations. So basically this four table bringing out the information, these four columns information is coming out of it. Now, when you are coming that that part, it is a where class, where condition, which basically telling how to join the table and what are the conditions. Now the, here, basically we are using a two type of condition. One is a person ID that the parameter is passed in and that the date tracking tables, which we are validating the system data or whatever date. It's not system, it's a, the data basically is effective date passed in. So there are two parameters passed in. Okay, this is a SQL. Now, again, I'm going explaining this one. This is a very important to understand. This, this is the like information which is retrieved from the table, one or more table, and the from class basically give you all the 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 source of the information, the table names, and the third part is the where class, and which is some parameters passed in. For that parameter, the table the information is retrieved from this table for these conditions. Conditions. So there are conditions, there are source, there are the outputs, the three parts. Okay. Now, this three is what we call it database items, routes, and context. Okay. The, the information which is coming out of the table, the person number, this like person number, person ID, this is what we call it database items. In this case, database has item as their own names. For example, per assignment person number, which is basically a person number, per EXT person ID, person like person ID. Okay, 
The other one says per person local full name. That is a full name. The per person local last name is the last name. This is the database items. Now, what we call, where if the information is the source of the information, we call it routes, which is basically that from where it is coming from and what is the condition. This is the whole thing is called routes. Okay. Now, this the, the one in red, the parameter, or uh, like, you no, know, this is, we call it context. In this case, there are two contexts passed in. One is that a person ID, other one is a some date. That could be effective date or a hand date. Whichever, in this case, it is effective date. In this case, here it is a basically a, a person ID. So now what is the, all this person, the database, the DBAs are extracted from a routes for a context. Okay, I'm repeating it. The DBAs are coming from routes for a context. So now you know what is context used for and what, what are the routes and what are the database item. Okay, if you understand these three parts, then it's easier to like you know go further. Okay. Now I'll go back to the database and the items and all that stuff. Okay, now we say that you come back to that context. This is the example of the context, which is basically, I said the context is seeded with a formula type. I'm giving you an example of compensation. These are the basically the context which is supported by formula type. Okay, assignment, grade ID, all these things are supported. Okay. Now, what context do that? Contexts are predefined optional parameter. Contexts are created for a past formula routes. Contexts are seeded along with the formula type. Context values are usually passed while executing the fast formula. That is true. Context can be set within the fast formula. Okay, you can change the context. Okay, now I'll explain what you change. For example, the last SQL we saw that was that basically that that is by default executed for the date, like an effective date which is passed through the pass to the fast formula when you are executing it. For some reason, you want to go back or you want to go forward, I mean the future. Now you can change the context, I mean with the value of the context. You can set the value of the context. Then you can use the database item. Now what happens once you change the context to past, and then when you are basically using the database item, the SQL will be executed again, you will get the, the database item values as of the past date. Okay, that is how you change it. Context value can be accessed. Yes, you can you can get the value. What is the what is the context value? You can get the value and context to determine the usage of the database item, like we, we saw that in the SQL. Context of compensation formula that we already saw that is the example. Okay, the usage of the context. Now, now you can say that get context person ID, L context. This is how you extract the value from the context. This is the context name. Okay, this is passed without code, but that's the important you have to understand. Person ID is passed as a person ID. You don't have to use a code or anything. Okay, the minus one, the second value is the default value. In case the person ID doesn't have, the, the information is not passed in. Okay, you will get minus one. Okay, this is how you get that value. Now you know that then you can say that if the L context is equal to minus one, in this case, the, can, the context is not there. The second one is change context. Okay, you can change the context. Now what is doing that is basically there's a context called effective date. It is changing the value, it is using the value. Now what happened when you are changing it, the important is you have to use the bracket. Okay, now whatever database item you are accessing within the bracket, use this effective date, that whatever the value you are setting it. Once you are coming out of the bracket, it use that the default one, whatever that whenever you started, whenever like by default, whatever passed to you, that is what getting used. So the, the bracket is very important. The change context works within the bracket. Okay, out of the bracket doesn't work. It is like, say that as a block, it's kind of like, you know, PLC collateral is kind of a block. So within the block only it works, okay. Now you can, you can also check in whether the particular context is set. 
So like if you were, you are getting the context, you want, you can check it. It basically returned way, way R n. That's what it is. Basically, there's no, there's no Boolean in the past formula. So it is always, okay, if context is set, that is how you can validate that. Okay. Now you'll do database item. What is the database item? Database is some read-only variable that the FF past formula uses in find, finding a data. Okay, now it is a read, you can't set the value. It is only a, the output coming the output coming from the tables. So it is only read-only. Okay, database item also sometimes some coming from uh, functions. Okay, it is not necessarily always coming from that, um, the value from the columns. Sometimes they use, for example, like for some, sometimes you use the max value, minimum value. These are the things basically coming from a function. Sometimes we use the global variables or like you know, system variable, like system date, sys date, which is also comes as a database item. Okay. Now this says avoid the okay, if if you can get the information from the, the context or input value, use the input value con or the context value rather than the database item. Because database using the database is a little bit expensive. The reason is it's it's execute the SQL and get the information. That's what it says. Okay, this is the DBA examples. I'll I will come back like later. We'll explain how to use it and all the stuff. In the database. Okay, how do you use the database? The default for come. This is how we use it. Is that is a basically you always set when you are basically do, doing it. You set the default value. Right? There's a two types of one. Basically, when is the number, just set it like that. When is a date, this is how you set it. Okay, this is the date value, and you are giving what's the type of it. When is a character, this is how you set it. Okay. This is putting in red. The reason is this is this is called a range or an array. Okay, when is a collection range array. So this is how you do the default underscore data underscore value for compensation item is zero. So this is how you do that. Now, how do you find what is the, what is it uh, array or what is this one? We'll go, we'll see that in detail later. Like when we use it, I'll let you know, like how, 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 it, how do you def, like you know, find which is a single value or the range values, okay. You can use the data, like you can just get the value out of it. It's straightforward, it's like a variable. You can you like you know you can get the value from a database item. Okay, this we saw that we don't have to go again. And this also we saw that. Okay. For this session, that's all. Uh, okay, if you have any question, please let me know. Uh, thank you.